Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make some delicious fried seafood. We're going to be frying some king crab, lobster, snow crab, and more, so let's get started with the video. Begin by cleaning your king crab. After you finish with that, break apart your king crab leg. Then using scissors, cut the side of the shell and break it open to remove the meat. Now we're going to move on to our lobster. Cut the top of the lobster tail open. You just need to cut a straight line down the center. Then carefully peel back the shell without breaking it and pull out your lobster meat. Make sure not to completely remove the lobster meat from the shell. When you've taken out your lobster meat, take out any veins. Make sure to check the top and the bottom of the lobster meat. After that, clean and rinse off your lobster and then set it to the side. Now we're just going to deshell and devein our shrimp. Now that all of our seafood has been prepped and cleaned, we can go ahead and season everything. By the way, I'm also going to be frying some scallops. Alright, so the seasonings I used were pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay, and Cajun Seasoning. And then whisk until smooth. To do this, I'm going to use an immersion blender and I have been using this thing for everything. I love using it. Add a bit of hot sauce in your egg wash, whisk again, and you are all finished. Pour your egg wash in a pan and then set it to the side. In a pan, add flour, and then add pepper, Onion powder, garlic powder, a bit of Cajun seasoning, and Old Bay. Mix everything together until well combined and then set it to the side. In another pan, add breadcrumbs. Then add the same seasonings as before. Now set that to the side. 
So my mom has a lot of fish fry that she bought and we literally never use it so I decided to use it for this video. I wanted to see which one was better, fish fry or breadcrumbs. Now that everything's prepared, we could start coating our seafood. For the breadcrumbs method, simply coat your seafood in flour. Shake off any excess flour when you're finished. Then coat it in the egg wash. And finally coat it in the breadcrumbs. When you're finished, shake off any excess breadcrumbs and then set it to the side. For the fish fry method, simply coat your seafood in the egg wash and then coat it in the fish fry. You actually do not need an egg wash for the fish fry. You can simply just coat your seafood in the fish fry. But I had enough egg wash so I decided to just coat it in the egg wash anyway. When you're finished, shake off the excess fish fry and set it to the side. And just repeat this process until you've coated all your seafood. When you finish coating all of your seafood, prepare your fryer. Add vegetable oil in a deep fryer or a pot. Then heat up your oil. When everything is ready, go ahead and start frying your seafood. You'll know your seafood is done when it rises to the top, is golden brown, and there are less bubbles surrounding it. Make sure when you remove the seafood from the fryer, you're placing it on a plate or a dish that has paper towels so the paper towels can absorb the excess oil coming off of the seafood. And this is the result after I finish frying. So my thoughts are, when I do the breadcrumb method, it's a lot darker but golden brown, plus I feel like it smells better but that's just in my opinion. With the fish fry, I feel like the fish fry makes the seafood look more golden. Not as dark as breadcrumbs, but like an actual golden color. Plus, it creates more of a breading. Like it's puffier, it looks more fluffy in a way. Plus, using fish fry is easier than doing the breadcrumbs. However, I do like how the breadcrumbs look just because of the color. However, I do like how the lobster looks coated in fish fry. By the way, I did make a sauce to go with it. It was just a simple sauce, mayo, mustard, hot sauce, and lemon juice. Oh, and seasoned salt and pepper. 
I didn't really measure it while I was making it, but I'll have some exact measurements in the description below. Alright, and this is the finished product. Everything came out great, especially the snow crabs. It was my first time frying snow crabs, so I'm glad it came out well. I wanted to fry snow crabs ever since my mom went to a restaurant that had fried snow crabs when she went to Fort Lauderdale, so I'm really glad it came out well. I really couldn't decide which one's better, fish fry or breadcrumbs. However, I do know that they both taste good and smell good. Fish fry is easier, but with breadcrumbs it has a better look in my opinion. But when it came to the lobster, I think the lobster looks way better with the fish fry than the breadcrumbs. When it comes to flavor, I think they're both pretty well seasoned. So honestly, I couldn't decide. Comment down below which one you think is the best. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!